This creature ruled the earth 50 million years before the dinosaurs, but it is not one of them. So why does every museum label it wrong? Imagine stepping into a fossil hall, staring up at the skeleton of a reptile with a sail rising like a serrated blade from its back. You'd swear it's some primitive cousin of the dinosaur, a missing link, a beast from the Mesozoic world. But you'd be wrong. This isn't a dinosaur at all. In fact, it lived and died long before the first dinosaur ever took a step. This is Dimetrodon a name whispered through textbooks, half remembered in pop culture, but almost always misunderstood. For decades, scientists, teachers, and artists casually dropped it into the dinosaur bin, where it never belonged. But its story is stranger, older, and far more important. Because Dimetrodon was not just a reptile, it was our distant ancestor's nightmare, the ruler of the Permian world, and tonight we're stepping into that forgotten world to reveal what this creature really was. The truth is more chilling than the myth. Close your eyes and picture. Earth 295 million years ago, during the early Permian. The continents are fused into a single superland, Pangaea. Scorching deserts stretch for hundreds of miles. Rain comes rarely, but when it does, it arrives in catastrophic floods. Oases flicker like dying flames in endless seas of red sand. At night, the air drops cold as ice. Primitive forests cling to river valleys. Giant amphibians wallow in muddy banks, while strange herbivores with sails of their own nibble on ferns. But in this unstable land, one animal rises above them all. A hunter unlike anything before jaws filled with serrated teeth, a spine towering with a blade-like sail, a predator so successful. It ruled for nearly 20 million years. Its name was Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon stretched up to four meters long, its body low slung, tail powerful, and head enormous. But its most terrifying feature was its teeth. Unlike reptiles before it, Dimetrodon had heterodont dentition different kinds of teeth for different jobs, long stabbing canines, short serrated blades, crushing back teeth. It wasn't just another reptile. It was the first true apex predator. Dimetrodon wasn't built for speed. Its legs sprawled to the side, giving it short bursts of power but not long chases. Instead, it was an ambush predator. Imagine, an Edifosaurus grazes by a swamp. A shadow shifts in the reeds. Dimetrodon lunges, jaws slamming with bone-cracking force. The prey thrashes, but the predator's teeth tear deeper. Within moments, silence. The king has eaten. But nothing about Dimetrodon is more iconic or more debated than its sail. Elongated spines stretched skyward, forming a dramatic fin across its back. What was it for? Some paleontologists believe it acted as thermoregulation, a biological solar panel, heating blood in the morning and cooling it in the heat of the day. Others think it was display, a dominance banner, glowing with blood during confrontations. Or perhaps it was species recognition, a signal to others, a prehistoric billboard. Two Dimetrodons, sails flushed red, Circling each other in the Permian heat, the image is unforgettable, and here's the twist. Despite its reptilian look, Dimetrodon wasn't a reptile and it definitely wasn't a dinosaur. It was a synapsid. How do we know? Its skull held a single opening behind the eye, the hallmark of synapsids, the lineage that would one day give rise to mammals. That's right, Dimetrodon, the so-called dinosaur, is actually more closely related to us than to any reptile alive today. It wasn't just a monster. It was part of our story. For 20 million years, Dimetrodon reigned unchallenged. But then Earth changed. Deep beneath what is now Siberia, volcanic eruptions tore the land apart. Lava flowed for thousands of years. The atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide. Temperatures soared, oceans acidified, forests collapsed. This was the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the greatest die-off in Earth's history. Over 90% of marine life and 70% of land animals vanished. Dimetrodon, like so many others, disappeared. Its prey gone, its world poisoned. The once mighty predator starved and faded into extinction. The Permian ended in silence. But extinction doesn't erase legacy. Dimetrodon was not a dinosaur. It wasn't even a reptile. It was something far stranger, the first experiment in the blueprint of mammals. Its teeth foreshadowed our own. Its skull pattern is the same one you carry today. Its story is our story. So the next time you see its skeleton mislabeled in a museum, don't just see a sail-backed beast. 
see a mirror from the deep past, a predator that walked a world before dinosaurs, before mammals, before us yet still whispers in every heartbeat today, because the creature everyone mistakes for a dinosaur was never a dinosaur at all. It was family.